Hi guys, so I hope you're well. Today we're here to do a pregnancy favourite. I am currently 34 weeks pregnant, which is eight months. I don't know why I think about that. I feel, feel like this last couple of weeks are dragging on slightly. Um, but these are all the things I've been loving throughout my pregnancy, mainly the second and third trimester really, and that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's just get on with it. So the first thing that I've got is actually a food item, which I need to put back in the freezer. And it's this um, mango and pineapple mix. This one is from Asda. I was getting one from Sainsbury's, but they do it individually. Like you can get the pineapple chunks and the mango chunks. And it's just easier to get them together. And I was in Asda and I found them and I thought, definitely they're really tasty i've been loving making smoothies with these i like my smoothies really really cold and um i with lily with my first pregnancy i had um iron deficiency so i had to go on iron tablets and i really didn't want to do it this time just because if you've ever been on iron tablets you would know but i just don't really like it so in the mornings i do a smoothie with this and like a handful of spinach and some chia seeds and then i just have that with one of my next favorites and it's just so tasty you can't taste the spinach not that it really bothers me anyway so i know that some people don't like the taste of spinach on their teeth it does nothing for me to be honest but it's just really really tasty it's frozen it lasts up to three months in the freezer and this lemon lasts more than a month for me because i have it nearly every day i don't have it every single day just because i would get tired of it but and now i'm gonna have to put it back in the freezer excuse me okay so my next favorite is this pregnant care i should have bought the other ones um when i found out i was pregnant i bought the tablet ones and i bought them with lily and i never took them because they made me really nauseous and apparently i forgot about it this time i bought them again they made me extremely nauseous all day if i take them in the morning i would just feel sick like the entire day and when you're working and stuff and you need things done it's just not ideal um so unfortunately I stopped taking them, which is really bad, but I just didn't take them anymore. Then I went to a mother care parents to be event. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. And in the goodie bag that they gave us, they gave us one of these, not this one because it's my second bottle. These are actually cheaper than the tablets and the tablets are also really big, so they're really hard to swallow. Uh, but this is just, um, like the bottle and you just drink it it doesn't taste like the best it tastes like what would i explain it like like syrup you know when you're sick when you're little and you have to have syrup that's exactly what it tastes like but i just find it easier than the tablets and most importantly it does not make me nauseous so i have been loving these and these are like five or seven pounds whereas the tablets are like 15 and they're just sitting on my cupboard so yeah a lot better so my next favorite i feel really monotone everything's like white i'm wearing white i've got white nails anyways um my next favorite is this little tea this is the raspberry leaf tea infusion so it's not like the actual raspberry leaf tea i believe because Everyone always says that it just tastes really bad, the raspberry leaf tea. This tastes like raspberries, so I really like it. It's supposed to prepare you for labor. I don't know how, I don't know like the technicalities of it, but it tastes really good. Um, I enjoy it in the morning. I have tried it at night and it gives me the worst heartburn all night. So I can't take it at night, unfortunately, it's a no-no. But I'll just take it in the morning. It tastes really good and anything that helps me to prepare for labor, I'm all for. I've been taking it for about two weeks now. The next thing is related to the heartburn I was just talking about and it's these little bad boys. Um, to be honest, I don't really like this 
spearmint flavor but it's the only one i've got left it just helps with heartburn i'll just take two if i have really bad heartburn with lily i suffered it really really bad this time round, it's not so bad yet but we shall see but i just take two if it gets out of hand and it just helps me with handling it better i guess but they taste really yummy they don't i'm lying they don't taste yummy but they help your heart burn so that's a plus okay so the next two things are kind of hand in hand uh again when i was pregnant with lily i had really really bad stretch marks i got away with it until 36 weeks actually i had not a single one i creamed my belly and i'd spend a lot of money on like really really good creams um and then one creeped by and the next day there was two more and four more and six more and then my belly was just covered and it was really heartbreaking for me um so this time around i thought i'd stick to reliable products that i know that work one of them is trust the old bio oil this is amazing for stretch marks as you know i used it after my pregnancy and it dried my stretch marks out really nicely you can't really i mean you can see them because they're stretch marks but they're nothing compared to what they were when they first came through when they first came through they were red and they were angry and they were just heartbreaking they really were um but it dried them out nicely so you know this time around if i do get them i'm prepared um but i just have this just so that hopefully they look a little bit less angry if i do get them the second one is this rose hip oil this is rose hip seed oil but it's the same thing um this one i got from beauty bay and it was nine pounds it stinks so bad it really smells bad that it's really good for scarring and it's got like loads of vitamins and stuff so yes i've been using it on my belly every night and every morning even if it does nothing for that my belly feels really hydrated okay so the next favorite pre-last is that what it's called pre-last no that can't be right i don't know um my pre-last i wouldn't say that again um my next favorite is one that i don't have with me but it's uh, a pillow which sounds really silly with my previous pregnancy i bought a specific pregnancy pillow and don't get me wrong it was great and i slept really nicely with it but then once the pregnancy's finished you have to throw it away or give it away or just find some kind of purpose for it which is really hard because this is like weirdly awkwardly shaped massive thing and they're quite expensive they are so this time around i decided to just scrap that and get a normal pillow i have tons of pillows at home and they are it's a lot cheaper i just have any pillow um it works exactly the same really and i think they are an essential in pregnancy for sure my van that's not specific like oh i've got little swatches in my hands i'm sorry that must be annoying the whole way through it's not specific like vans but just like any comfortable shoes in pregnancy are a must for me my feet don't tend to swell but i feel like they grow slightly which is really bizarre and if i have shoes that are like a little bit too small or a little bit tight it just really you have a bad day i do at least so a pair of comfortable shoes if you're going for a walk or even just going to the shops is like an effort so having a pair of comfortable shoes definitely helps and that is the end of my favorites my pregnancy favorites i really hope that you guys found something helpful and useful in this video if you did please give a thumbs up and subscribe that's so annoying that's really annoying and until my next video i'll see you guys soon bye